So now I'm joined with a little one. Uh, it's me and Nancy, I'm gonna basically today, I'm gonna to do a little tutorial just to show you how to really cut a nice straight line at the back on that hair, just to trim up your daughter's hair if you want to, and maybe a little bit around the front because it always gets a little bit ratty on that hair at the front. Uh, just a simple little trim up, and then we're gonna dry that hair. This is Nancy, my youngest daughter. <laughs> First step is to wash their hair, put a nice little bit of conditioner on, comb through gently. When you're combing young children who've got long hair, start at the bottom and then just work your way up. And once you've done that, it's just basically put in a nice middle parting. Sorry, we'll head over there. And then we do that all the way down to the middle of the back. So basically you've just got a little middle parting that runs all the way down to the back. Then what you're going to do is you're going to basically take a section, one section, comb it down and then take this section and basically clip it out of the way. And then you're going to basically do the same thing this side. two pieces sitting down the back and then again twist this side out of the way you comb down the hair and what you don't do is you don't come close to the hair when you're cutting you stand and you lean back by leaning back you get a real good vision on the line being nice and straight so the further you look back, you comb down, you can see that your comb is straight and then you can literally just trim off the ends. Once you've done that, you can see it's nice and straight by leaning back, you can then bring down the next section. You now can just bring it back to behind the ear So once you've combed that top bit down, you've still got these two sections here at the front, out the way. You've combed it all down, and then you can see a guide underneath. We're gonna take that section, and we're gonna comb down, keeping the comb nice and straight, and literally just take, and follow that guide. Come down, follow that guide, We've come down all of these sections now and we followed our guide and as you can see it's a nice little one length trim through the back. We're now going to bring the sections at the front back as well and trim off anything that meets it. So as you can see, we've got a few little bits here that we need to just trim off. That keeps it all really one length and it also keeps that baseline really nice and square. So again, we will literally just take this little section and just trim that off. And this little section here, and trim that off too. Do a little dance there, Nancy. Looking back, leaning back, you can see the line is nice and clean that you want. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn them around all the way. And we're gonna basically comb that one section at the front down. And as you can see, 
this bit here gets a little bit thinner. And what we don't want to do is we just want to trim that down. So basically we keep this going forward and we don't want to take any more off. So we basically go to where the ear is. So you basically should push this back, all right? So you don't go further than the ear. And you basically want to meet from the shortest point, which is here to the bottom, you want to draw in a nice line. So you literally take this section, gently carved up at an angle. And again, this section, not going any further than this corner, working our way up. Then you've trimmed all of the front. Nice. Then we do this section, but to know where to start, to make sure that it's level, you basically comb it down. And where you will at the front, you work a little bit here, this side, and that will give you your guide just from here to then meet. Remember not going behind the ear. From here to here is where you want to join by just trimming that front bit. Keeping the scissors coming down the hair. Meeting that front corner. And you've just trimmed up all of the front of her hair. Then you can blow dry. So now we've cut and trim Nancy's hair. Nancy loves to be in the garden, running around, climbing trees. Um, so this is not really a her thing. So what I'm gonna be doing is when I'm drying her hair, I'm using the Dyson attachment, the gentle dryer. What this does is, because Nancy's got quite fine hair, it disperses the airflow at a lot wider angle so she doesn't get any intense heat on the scalp. Do you know what I mean? And we can just riff, gently gentle dry the hair so it just gives it a nice soft finish. You know, this can be the same for a lot of people with fine hair, they can have a lot more of a sensitive scalp. So this, this attachment for the supersonic is really great for that. So now we basically just use the gentle dryer to dry all our hair off. Now we're just going to literally just go over really quickly, two big sections with the brush and the hair dryer. Really not doing too much to it because we've already dried it all off for her. Just makes it, polishing it off a bit. Children don't really like to be kept. All right, <laughs> stop milking it now. Literally three big sections, just with a brush, and then you're all done. Yes, yes. I'm leaving now. <laughs> and there it is.